right guys, after 10 hours of bus and crossing the border, we finally arrived here in Myanmar. And we're currently having our first hike in that country. And I'm not gonna lie, look at that. That's pretty good. It's looking pretty good, so let's see a bit more of that country together. Sweat to get up that point of view was totally worth it. Early, early start this morning, so we woke up like at like. What time? 4 30. 4.30 and we're gonna hike up a mountain um, from, our, from the path we just left the scooter there and uh, what we're gonna watch? The sunrise! The sunrise! <laughs> Guys, in this moment we are at the top of Tong Wine Mountain. It took 45 minutes of very hard hiking, but it worth it. The sunset, it was breathtaking. And now we have to get down. On the way to the mountain this morning, we saw like a bunch of kids that were walking um, like along the street. They were about like between 30 and, and 50 and they were like little monks. That was that was quite a bit impressive. And uh, it was about like 5 a.m. in the morning. So you have to know that the, the, the monks, whatever their age, they kind of have the same routine. So they woke up super early in the morning. They have like a meditation session that will last about an hour and then they will go on the street and the, the people around the city uh, they will offer them some food and, and some, some drinks as well so they can go back to the temple, the monastery and they can have breakfast. <laughs> remember the reclining Buddha that we saw in Bangkok it was pretty big huh so here in Myanmar there is the biggest reclining Buddha in the world and we just arrived in scooter and 
even it's from here impressive. it's impressive. impressive so just take a look take a look at that that's huge Funny thing, you can get in that gigantic Buddha. So you will find different rooms with a sculptural uh, representative of the Buddhist culture. But weirdly enough, they are so like it gives me a sensation of unfinished business because there is a lot of concrete everywhere, building materials. So like, oh, did, didn't have the time or the budget to finish that Buddha. And things that I know is like on the opposite side of that Buddha, they have started the construction of another one, like very, very cinema facing the actual, um, the actual Buddha. And in 2012, uh, they completely stopped that construction. So it's not, it's not, it's not finished. It doesn't seem that um, they're going to continue building that. So after one hour of bus from Pahan and down south, we arrived in the city of Mao Lao Yin. Not sure if I'm gonna write that big in the in the video. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Where um, so where um, Pahan was a lot of nature. Yeah, it's kind of a, a city. It's not that big, but it feels like a city, right? Uh, so we're currently on the pier. Uh, they're setting up the night market. So we're probably gonna have food uh, later in here. After spending a few days in Myanmar, we have discovered a country that hasn't been overtaken by tourists yet. A country filled with warm and generous people who are still surprised to see foreigners. A country that we can't wait to explore. We are going to Myanmar. We just passed the border of Thailand. We had I spent we spent two thousand but because we overstayed. <laughs> so five hundred per day. Not we to have, mention. You have to remember if you go, okay?